Hi there, welcome to this revision video on how to answer people's health question number three. Okay, so within this uh, question, you're going to need to write about second order concepts. And actually, the key second order concept for this question is going to be cause and consequence. So question number three is always linked to cause and consequence. OK, then, so let's have a look at an example question three. Now, just a reminder that question three is the same type of question that you would do for making of America. So you get your exam set and you write for people's health, then you'll be getting your exam set and you write for making of America. So let's have a look at question three. The question says, why did national and local governments find it difficult to deal with public health issues in the early modern period, 1500 to 1750? Explain your answer. Now, it's worth 10 marks. Now, five of these marks are for use of knowledge and five of these marks are for use of analysis. So as soon as we get the why, that tells us this is a causation question. So let's look at decoding the question in a little bit more detail. The question can focus on cause and consequence and the why, and the other aspect is find it difficult. So this shows you really need to look at the question carefully because it's why these national local governments found it difficult to deal with public health issues. It's not that they weren't dealing with, with um, public health issues, it's why did they find it difficult. Now time periods are absolutely crucial, so you have to stay focused on the early modern period, 1500 to 1750, within this time period. So don't get confused by things like industrial, uh, this is not going to be an opportunity for you to write about the 1848 Public Health Act or anything like that, so you must stay within that correct time period. Now, this question focuses on national and local governments, and reminder that, that national and local government is a key factor uh, for bringing about change during this, uh, during this people's health course, along with other factors like science, technology, beliefs, values and attitudes, etc. Um, so knowing your factors is also a really important part of your revision. Um, you're going to use specific knowledge, five marks are given for use of knowledge, and you need to make sure you link to the second order concept. Now, in some ways, question three is a little bit easier than question two, because you don't have to think of your own second order concept here. Um, you are just going to be focusing on the causation, if it says why. Sometimes a question might say, what is the impact of? And therefore, that is um, an opportunity to focus on consequence. The checklist for this question, include information for the correct time period, include precise and relevant knowledge. You're going to be linking to the second order concept of cause consequence. You're going to include two clear examples fully explained. So you need two paragraphs for this question. You can have three, but the requirement is just have two. So unless you have loads of spare time, I would just write about two paragraphs. And we're looking for a fairly detailed paragraph, um, seven, eight, nine lines, something along those, uh, those lines. And then historical language that analyzes using phrases like, this shows that, this meant that, this led to, as a result of the fact that those nice, uh, lovely historical phrases that you're gonna use to show your analysis. So let's have a look at an example answer now and um, there are some good words there for cause and consequence so using phrases like because this led to this meant that as a result consequently this brought about this exacerbated all really useful phrases to use so the question let's have a look at the first two paragraphs so um let's read paragraph one one reason why governments found it difficult to deal with public health issues. Now, starting off with a phrase like that means that you're quoting the question, your answer. And that's a really, really good practice to do. So one reason why governments found it difficult to deal with public health issues in the early modern period was the lack of understanding of what caused disease. For example, there were at least eight major outbreaks of plague in the early modern period. However, people did not understand what caused it, so they could not properly deal with it. Most people believed it was sent by God and therefore they prayed. Some believed it was caused by bad smells, miasma. This meant that they did not know about germs or the role of rats and fleas. This meant that some of the measures government took, such as burning barrels of tar to clear bad air, would have been ineffective. As a result of government actions being based on incorrect beliefs, they found it difficult to prevent the spread of plague. Paragraph two, a second reason. So your second reason needs to be distinct from the first one. So the second reason why government found it difficult to deal with public health issues is because government measures were unpopular. For example, there was a rise in drunkenness and social problems during the gin craze of the 1660s and beyond. Gin coming from the Netherlands was very cheap, so the government introduced a tax and licenses to control the sales. However, 
This did not solve the problem because this led to many people just ignoring the law and opening up illegal gin shops. Therefore, the government were not able to get the gin craze under control until it made punishments much more severe in the late 1740s. People could be imprisoned, whipped and even transported for a third offence. This shows that a key reason it found it difficult to deal with public health issues is due to the government policies being unpopular. Okay, so three takeaways from this question. Make sure you decode the question carefully, get specific and detailed knowledge, and organize your answer around the sock of cause and consequence, remembering, of course, to do two clear paragraphs. Okay, thanks so much for listening. Goodbye.